Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor right now and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and then I'd be able to deliver my best reviews to your inbox on a daily basis. If you enjoy the watches, well, you can buy them 24 hours a day, buy, trade, or sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. And today, we discuss the Patek Philippe 5159G-001, a retrograding date automatic perpetual calendar in an officer-style case comprised of white gold. Let's talk about what you're getting in this 38mm package. You can see on my 16cm circumference wrist, it has a handsome and traditionally compact proportion about it. A 35 to 38 millimeter dress watch is a very traditional men's size. The watch is larger than its predecessor, however, as that was a 36. The 38, which debuted in 2007, and the watch you see here, is considered to be the larger officer-style retrograde perpetual calendar from Patek Philippe. So the timepiece has a squat profile, 38 across. You'll note that it has a 12 millimeter thickness that reads as more on the wrist. You'd think it's thicker because of the stubby aspect ratio of the case. We'll talk about why it looks that way in a moment, but for now, just recognize that a 12 millimeter is thick with a generously rounded case flank and domed bezel. It will easily slide underneath a dress cuff, which can ramp right up and over it. Lug to lug, it measures 47 millimeters, and for those of you who wish to accessorize, perhaps go a little bit crazy or maybe even a bit more conservative with a black strap, you're going to find a 20 millimeter lug space standard size for many OEM and aftermarket options gives you a world of choices. The timepiece does feature a very flat strap. You can see it's a medium brown rectangular scale alligator leather unbolstered folded edge with a monotone stitch and calfskin on the underside. Now you will note in officer's fashion the lugs are retained by screws. We'll talk about why that is in a moment when we discuss the officer's watch genre. But for now, just know that it's securely welded via those threaded screws to the case. You'll also note the folding clasp, single fold, fully finished, gray gold, not traditional white gold. Gray gold is a 18 karat homogenous alloy. It's used by Jajir Lecoult, it's used by Rolex, and since 2006 by Patek Philippe. So if you scratch it, unlike white gold, which needs to be rhodium plated, gray gold is white metal all the way through, never needs to be plated, and it doesn't show yellow gold underneath if you scratch its surface. So the officer's watch, well, it takes us back to the era of World War I, when officers in the trenches often couldn't lay hands on their timepieces in the heat of the moment, whether motioning to their comrades over the din of the battle, operating weapons, or fumbling with gas masks, it simply wasn't possible to go to your pocket for your pocket watch, and then having withdrawn your pocket watch, you might have to scramble and simply drop it in place. Therefore, a watch on the wrist took on a special premium value in the field. To make these watches, oftentimes lugs would be welded straight onto a pocket watch case, the straps would be fixed on by screw bars, and then oftentimes because these were converted pocket watches, they would feature a hunter style covered case back that was hinged. So this watch has all of those traits, as well as dial designed to recall a pocket watch with glorious asagai or spear shaped minute hand and a poivre or pear shaped hour hand. Gloriously guilloche blaze in its center, you can note that the dial has a little bit more drama about it than a standard Patek Philippe aperture or radial display perpetual calendar. So let's talk about what you're getting. Inboard of that gray gold case, you can see that the dial features stylized and extended Roman numerals in black with Arabic numerals for the minutes and seconds outboard in a cobalt blue. There is a small red index at the end of a retrograding date display that jumps after the 31st of the month, and then aperture displays for the day, the leap year phase, and the month. At center, you can see a counterweighted center seconds lancet style, something not universal to Patek Philippe watches, especially in the more traditional styles, as well as a crescent-shaped moon phase with a reset interval of 122 years at 6 o'clock. Features you may wish to note, let's get close here and focus in. The Sunray Guilloche cut of the center dial. The stepped apertures for the day, the leap year phase in the month, transitioning more gradually from the opaline or lightly frosted silver metallic dial base to the white date discs. You'll also note that the moon phase is subtly navy blue. A little bit of color and there is a slight off-white tinge, almost a little bit of champagne or ecru 
maybe a bit of an eggshell coloration to the dial base itself. Blackened gold hands at center. Now turning the watch over, of course you get the value of a solid gold case back, so Patek's not shorting you precious metal, nor are they depriving you of the chance to view the movement for which you've paid. And now you're looking at a Patek Philippe manufacturer caliber. This is the 324 base. It is the SQR, which is to say it has center seconds, a contiem perpetual, and a retrograde function. 35 to 45 hours winding, unidirectional winding action, 28,800 vibrations per hour. It features a gyromax style balance. And the gyromax balance is free sprung, taking and holding a very precise regulation. And even withstanding bumps, disruptions, and concussion on the wrist, better than a mobile stud index adjustment system. Now, what you can't quite see is that there is a silicon Patek Philippe Spiromax hairspring in there to endow the watch with robust anti-magnetism and high efficiency unlubricated ceramic bearings bearing the rotor at center. They have a long service interval. They do not need to be lubricated. They are essentially set it and forget it for life. Beautiful finish, as you'll note, when I turn the watch flush to the camera, you can see the edges of the rotor, as well as all bridges lighting up because they are mirrored, hand finished, and hand executed with a rounded, not beveled edge. The beveled edge that you often see, for instance, on a Panerai caliber is machine executed. You'll even see it on Audemars Piguet Royal Oaks like the 15400 and 15450. Here, you have the true anglage as well as black polished screw heads. You can see that the screws are alternately shiny and black as they reflect light only in one direction, the highest standard of optical finish known as poly noir or black polish. You'll also note a beautifully textured set of Cote de Genève linear perfectly aligned across the bridges and circular across the winding mass. There's a micro spiral fashion prolage pattern across the center rotor and a macro prolage across the base plate. It's adjusted in a chronometer busting six positions, standard adjustment for a chronometer, by the way, is five positions. With the Spiromax hairspring, Patek Philippe upgrades the 324s to six positions. The watch is accurate, it's handsome, it's definitely different. Even within the scope of Patek Philippe complications, the officer's perpetual calendar retrograde date stands apart, and at 38 millimeters, I wear this watch easily on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, and I would say you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters. So this is an option that quite a few wrists, large and small, will find to their liking. See if it's to your liking and own it on our website.